Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for your business. So today our objective is that whenever we get new leads in our Facebook lead ads for our businesses, then we want to add these lead details in our Google Sheet. For that, we are going to create an integration between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pavli Connect, we are going to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, we are going to use Facebook lead ads. In Action application, we are going to use Google Sheets. So how I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And suppose I'm running this real estate business. And this is my Facebook page. And I've also posted an ad in my Facebook page through which I'm getting a lot of leads. And now what I want is I want to add these lead details in my Google Sheet. For this, I'm going to create an integration between my Facebook page and my Google Sheet. For creating this integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and it will take us to this page. These are all the tools that Pabli offers and here I'm going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. This is the folder section and we can create new folder from here and we can save our workflow in the, any particular folder that we want. Now I'm going to create a new workflow for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as my objective, which is to add business leads to Google Sheets. Now I'm going to select the folder where I want to save my workflow, which is home. So I'm going to click here on create and it will take us to the most important window of my workflow. Here I have two boxes, trigger and action. These are the two main principles on which my workflow works on. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in my workflow. Then action will just follow that. Now I'm going to set up my trigger and in my trigger application, I'm going to search for Facebook lead ads. I'm going to click here. I have to give a trigger event. So I will open this and new lead instant will be my trigger event. So I will select this. And now I'm going to connect my Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here. I will click on add new connection. I will connect with Facebook lead ads. I will click on continue to give access to my account. And I have successfully connected my accounts. Here I have page and lead gen form. Now for this, let's go back to my Facebook page. And this is the name of my page home hub real estate. Now I'm going to click here on all tools. I will scroll down and I'm going to click on instant forms. So here I have this form. So I'm going to preview this. In this form, I have this information, full name, email, phone number, city. And this is how my form look like. I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to public connect. Now I'm going to map my page, which is home hub real estate. And my lead gen form is a lead form. So I have mapped all these details here. Now I have this important note, which says, please note that after clicking the save and send test request button, you will need to generate sample submission of your lead ad form by clicking on the preview form button and filling out the form. Make sure that the lead generation form is live before making the sample submission. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And what I need to do is I need to make a sample submission to get this webhook response. So for that, I'm going to use Meta for developer. Let's go to Meta for developer. And here I'm going to click on my apps. Now I will click on tools and I'll find this lead ads RTO debug tool. I will click here. And here I have page and form. Now I'm going to map my page here, which is home hub real estate and my form is lead form. So I'm going to preview this form and I'm going to fill dummy details for my test submission. So I'm going to click on preview form. I'm going to fill this details. Full name will be demo user. 
Email will be damoyuzo125 at the rate pablitutes.com. Now I'm going to give a random phone number and a random city, which will be Bhopal. And I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on submit. So my form is submitted. Now I'm going to go back to Public Connect. And here in the response, we can see we have this full name, demo user, email as demo user 125 at the rate .com. And the phone number is this and the city is Bhopal. Now what I want is I want to add these details in my Google Sheet. For that, I'm going to set up my action and I'm going to open this and I will search for my action application, which is Google Sheets. I will click here and I will give an action event, which will be add new row. Now I will connect my Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So I will click here. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Now I'm going to click on allow to give access to my account. So my connection is successful. Now I have these details here. So let's go back to my Google Sheet first. And I have this Google Sheet here. The name is real estate leads and we have four columns here name, email, mobile number, and city. So we are going to map these details in my Public Connect. Let's go back to Public Connect. And I'm going to map my spreadsheet here. So my spreadsheet is real estate leads, and we are using sheet one. Now here we can see we have these details, name, email, mobile number, and city. So I'm going to map these details from my Facebook lead response. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique to retrieve data from the previous tab and these data can replace with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response. And first I will map the full name. Now the email address. Now the mobile number. And similarly the city. And as I have mapped all the details, I'm going to click here on save and send test request button. So we have this response here. Now to check whether we have added this response in my Google Sheet or not, let's go back to Google Sheets. And here we can see we have this new row added automatically in our Google Sheet. So the name is demo user. Email is demo user 125 at the rate .com. And the mobile number is this and the city is Bhopal. So we have added this response of Facebook lead in our Google Sheets automatically. Now I will go back to Public Connect. So here our workflow is working successfully. Now let's check it in the real time. Let's go back to matter for developer. I will close this. I will delete my lead. And I'm going to preview this form again. And I will fill this form again with the dummy details. So my username will be dummy user. Email address will be dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. And phone number will be, I will give this random phone number. And the city will be Mumbai. And I'm going to click on next and I will submit this. Now a form is submitted. Now let's go back directly to my Google Sheets and I will refresh this. And here we can see we have added this new row automatically, which has the same details that we have filled in our Facebook lead form. So the name is dummy user. Email is dummy user at the rate pablitudes.com. Mobile number is this and the city is Mumbai. So let's go back to Public Connect. So here we can see our integration between Facebook lead apps and Google Sheets is working successfully and we have created this workflow and let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up our trigger and here our trigger application was Facebook lead ads and our trigger event here was new lead instant. Then we have set up our action and our action application was Google Sheets and our action event was add new row. So this is how I've created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of the workflow in my description. So you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.